United, most successful tag team in the USWO, Suicidal Youth. I'm Marcus Knight. Joining me here, as always, is Chingus. Hi, everybody. Well, look out for Suicidal Youth. Double crossbody on tomorrow and Turner. Ryder and Eric Andrews showing that once again they are a cohesive unit, a tag team to be reckoned with. And, well, that's if one thinks that Eric Andrews is trustworthy again. I mean, he did a great job of confusing everybody with the whole El Loco Uno thing. You don't think this is another mind game, do you? Like, Not like the mind game that Brian Turner's head's currently experiencing from that tilt world but still. You know, I'm not exactly sure if I can trust Eric Andrews. I'd like to, but his, his, his actions in recent weeks have shown otherwise. However, in the ring, you can see that Suicidal Youth has not lost one single step despite the setback that Eric Andrews gave Ryder. These two have seen each other in the ring several times over the past couple weeks, but it looks like all has been forgiven and forgotten here. Nice double team action there from Eric Andrews and Ryder. Eric is tagged in. You can hear it here in Madison. They're glad Suicidal Youth is back together. Indeed, Eric Andrews pulling out those old double team moves. Morrow in quickly to break that one up. Morrow with some new wingtip boots there, I see. And hey, from the beginning of the match, if you really like the guy, if you're in cahoots with him, would you dive onto him from the top to the concrete floor? I gotta give him that much. It wouldn't be the first time that someone's done a, a, a blatant backstabbing like that before, though. I, you gotta wonder if Eric didn't have that that deception of his planned out from the beginning. After all, he was the one that got pinned that sent him packing earlier in the USWO. Wicked click, double elbow drop, only gets a two count. Well, for now, I'm gonna try to put that all out of my mind. I'm gonna try to believe that Eric Andrews is, again, a man of his word, and just call the match as is. Ryder grabs Turner, monkey flip, Turner goes flying. Right now, it does appear that you're right, Jingus. They're working as a complete cohesive unit here. Brian mm. Turner going downstairs on Ryder. If it's true, and Suicidal Youth is 100% back together as a cohesive unit, the tag team division just got a huge wake-up call. Suicidal Youth, one of the most successful tag teams here. Indeed. Ryder took the Buffalo shot from Turner, then some choking. Now tag in tomorrow. Eric Andrews comes in trying to help out his partner. No go there. Here's the no noggin knocker, or as they call it. There was the hops. Here comes the barley. There it is, DDT on Ryder. Looks like he slipped out a little early. Morrow didn't quite get everything he wanted to on that one. Makes the cover one and two. Doesn't matter anyway. Eric Andrews broke it up no matter what. Suicidal Youth working as a cohesive unit. Booty Call working as a cohesive unit. These two have seen each other several times in the past. They have a very storied history here in Madison. Trading tag team titles back and forth. We could see a... A, a, a new tag team champions tonight in Suicidal Youth. Oh. Athena trying to get a couple shots in on Ryder, but Andrew's quick to send her packing to the other side of the ring. Quick to send her packing. However, didn't do anything for Morrow. Elbow drop off the apron to the floor. Squashing Ryder in between bone and concrete. Nothing but pain dished out by Morrow there. Looks like Booty Call's got something to prove here that Despite the fact Suicidal Youth, the most successful tag teams back together, right now it's Booty Call that's been dominating the tag team division since Suicidal Youth's breakup. They're out to prove that it wasn't a fluke, that they are an extremely dominant, successful tag team. Hey, these guys, these two teams, they've wrestled each other many, many times. Not just here in the USWO, but in various organizations. Their feud, their hatred knows no bounds. And if Eric Andrews is truly has his head back where it should be, that's not a dirty pun, I swear, then Booty Call finally has a wake up, finally their toughest opponents are back, but they're doing their best to put them away early with that big double team Bulldog to count, but only to stops it to, Eric Andrews makes the kick to the head on Turner to save him. Modified Mexican surfboard maneuver here from Brian Turner, stretching the back, the arms and the legs there of Ryder, you can see it on your screen, just how much excruciating pain Ryder's in right now. It's been a very successful move in the past from Brian Turner. Turner stretching every part of Ryder's body out. You can see Ryder telling the referee no, he does not submit. Morrow looking on from ringside. Athena adding her two cents or 
Well, considering Athena, her 50 bucks. Or, no, well, considering Athena, the price is probably closer to two cents. But still, she is possibly the most deadly valet in the USWO. Uh, certainly the smartest. This woman comes up with plans and schemes and all kinds of things that defy the imagination. You never know what rabbit she's going to pull out of her hat next. Well, let's not forget before this match started, she tried to pull the same thing on Eric Andrews that she pulled on Miss Lisa Faison just a few months ago here. We might be seeing another invoice collection. Athena trying to claim that oh. the ring jacket that Andrews wears out to the ring, the limousines that he rides in, the steak dinners that he eats, all of that was paid for by services from the goddess Athena. She wants to take a collection on that. I don't know. They might have been all donations from an escort company. I have no idea. Ryder fighting back. He has a chance to make the tag. Turner sprints over there, gets there first, shuts him back down. Ryder still stuck in the ring. Turner takes him over, cinches him. Vertical suplex on Ryder. Ryder desperately needing to make a tag here, but he's stuck in the middle of the ring. Booty call very effective in isolating Ryder for the majority of this match. We haven't even seen an offensive maneuver from Eric Andrews yet, aside from that springboard splash that we saw early in the match. Since then, it's been all Ryder in the ring and all punishment delivered by Booty Call. Indeed. Turner just pounding Ryder in the ear, but Ryder shoves him off to the middle of the ring. Turner gets up a little woozy. Ryder comes flying crossbody. Attempt is made, but Ryder, his own momentum carried him through, didn't have the strength to hold on and make the cover. He's been beaten. He's been brutalized during this whole match. He probably just... His own body weight, the dead weight of his own beaten, battered body probably just rolled through that... That cross body block, that failed pinning attempt there from Ryder. Both men slow to their feet, both men needing to make the pin. Turner's able to get it first with Morrow. In comes Eric, the Dragon Andrews, and he looks like he's gonna be a house on fire, getting his revenge, getting some payback on Booty Call. Eric telling us right now who his friends and enemies are. He's working over Morrow in the corner. Ryder beating on Turner in the opposite corner. Eric Andrews now up to the top. Raining punches down as is Ryder on the opposite side. This is all suicidal youth. This is the way tag team wrestling should be. Suicidal youth working as a complete cohesive unit. Looks like we're about to have a meeting of the minds in the center of the oh. ring. Referee got caught up in the middle. Unfortunately, that's going to spell trouble. Athena is now going to probably try to come in here and do something far be it from her to take advantage of a fallen referee. J.W. Stratton dropped like Kobashi after taking a Masawa elbow. There's the Kevorkian on Turner, but the ref's out, out cold. Now Athena, the goddess into the ring. She's browbeating Eric Andrews. He's about to, what? look out, Morrow. Morrow's got the belt back behind him. He's about to come in, just waiting for the right moment. Turn around, whoa. Oh, she caught him. And so did Morrow, a double-pronged team. Ryder got a shot to the back of the head as well from the title belt. Now putting Turner on top. Oh, come on! This is just not right. This is not right. Suicidal Youth was no. destined to win the tag no. belts here. No! Three count delivered by the referee. Booty call able to hold and retain the tag team championships thanks to a little help from the goddess Athena. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners and still tag team champions, Booty Call.